Gwyneth Paltrow is an American singer and actress born on September 27, 1972, in the city of Los Angeles, California, in the United States. She rose to fame in the 1990s with a supporting role in David Fincher's Thriller 7. During the 2000s, she played lead roles, often romantic, duos d'un jour, un amour infini, l'amour extra large, 2001, Possession. However, only the dramatic comedies like The Anniversary Party, The Tenenbaum Family, released in 2001, were well received by critics. Her dramatic projects were critical failures, the biopic Sylvia in 2004 and the blockbuster Sky Captain and The World of Tomorrow 2. Gwyneth Kate Paltrow is the daughter of television director and producer Bruce Paltrow and actress Blythe Danner and sister of Jake Paltrow, a theater director. She moved to Massachusetts at the age of 11 to accompany her family on a film set. She then received her first acting lessons from her parents. However, her parents opposed their daughter pursuing an acting career. After dating Brad Pitt for three years, with whom she ended the engagement, she had a three-year affair with Ben Affleck, then briefly with Luke Wilson. She was 30 years old when her father died of throat cancer in the same year she met Chris Martin, the lead singer of Coldplay, backstage at a show. They got married on December 5, 2003, and Gwyneth Paltrow quickly gave birth to their first child in May 2004, a daughter named Apple. Reports on Paltrow's life the actress appeared in a Park City court on Tuesday for the start of a trial about a 2016 skiing accident in Utah. Paltrow is accused of colliding with Terry Sanderson, causing several serious injuries and then leaving him, while both were skiing on a beginner's race at the Deer Valley Resort seven years ago. Sanderson, a retired optometrist, filed the lawsuit in 2019, three years after the mountain slope collision. Since then, he has claimed that the accident left him with a brain injury for broken ribs and emotional damage. Sanderson also claimed that Paltrow left the scene without giving him her name, contact information, or seeking help. Paltrow's lawyer, Stephen Owens, told the jury that Sanderson's claims that the actress fled the mountain after hitting him were completely fabricated. In an initial version of the lawsuit, Sanderson sought $3.1 million in damages. But in May 2022, 3rd District Judge Kent Holmberg dismissed some of Sanderson's claims against Paltrow, determining that it was not a hit-and-run skiing accident, according to the news agency. The 76-year-old man is now seeking $300,000 in damages. Meanwhile, the Oscar-winning actress and entrepreneur filed her own countersuit about a month after Sanderson in 2019. In it, she recounted the events of the day, blaming him for the accident. She described him as being above her and her family when he suddenly hit her back, delivering a full-body blow. According to Paltrow, she was angry at Sanderson, and he apologized. Each party wants the other to cover their legal costs. It is unclear whether Paltrow will testify, but her lawyer told the jury that some family members who were skiing with her at the time of the incident will testify.